Hi, this is Jack with Vacation Ease, and I'm here with your October destination wedding news and deals. So let's first talk about some news. Um, one of the things we're seeing is airfares for 2021 and into 2022 are sky high. They are getting pricey again. For a while, they were down. So if you're planning a destination wedding, remember that most airlines, you can't book your flights until about nine months in advance. So it's very tough when you ask us or your travel planner to give you a package price 18 months in advance. It's hard to get the price on the flights. But just know that the price of the flights today is pretty low for the next couple months. But what we're seeing so far and hearing from the airlines is the trends are flights will be more expensive in 22 and 23. Now, talking about 22 and 23, the most important thing we're seeing now are dates. In the past, I would tell people, if you're planning your wedding nine months in advance, that's fine. I am now looking at dates in November of 2022, and I am having trouble finding Saturdays and weekends for guests. I may have stressed this in the past in other videos, but I am telling you, if you're thinking about having a destination wedding in 2022, work with your planner, whoever you are working with, ASAP and start looking at the dates where you're having to tell people that the prime times for weekends are not available. To me, a prime time is 4, 5, or 6 p.m. because that flows extremely well into your events. And what we're hearing from resorts is, oh, yeah, we may have a Saturday, but it's 10 a.m. or 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. So, or looking at alternative days such as Thursdays, Fridays, Mondays, or Tuesdays, or Wednesdays. So the big takeaway I'm finding is the popular resorts are just that. They're popular. So start looking now. Again, if you're looking for September, October, November of 2022, get on it. Work with your travel professional. Call the resorts. Do whatever you're doing. But get those dates locked down. In the same vein, we're seeing some room categories already blocked out. We have weddings that we're looking at for October and November and December of 22 that brides and grooms want specific room categories at those hotels. They are booked in some cases. So when you start working with your planner, what you really need to do is look at some dates and evaluate the availability of the wedding venues and locations you want. As long as if you specifically as the bride and groom want any specific rooms, make sure that the rooms are available. Don't wait until the last minute or don't wait until six months before to say, hey, I don't want a room in my room block, but I want the room with the private pool. Get it done now. Okay, so let's talk about some other things we're seeing. Hawaii. Hawaii is becoming very popular again for destination weddings. As you may have heard recently, the governor has asked people not to come because of COVID, but we're starting to get inquiries again for later in 22. I think it's okay to plan. Just remember, if you're from the East Coast, Hawaii is a 12 to 13 hour trip, so you may want to rethink that dependent upon where your guests and you are coming from. So other things we're seeing, some deals. Um, there is a new resort um, called Estudio, um, as well as Atelier, in Playa Mujeres, which is near the Cancun airport. Beautiful, brand new resort. They recently sent us that they have an incentive going right now that as long as we have 30 rooms or more booked for the client, they will provide a free wedding reception with an open bar and a three-course dinner, and also they're going to provide us a free welcome cocktail party. From what I can see, it's a one-hour cocktail party, but you can expand it from there. You need 30 rooms. They don't have any date parameters on that, so it could go away. Who knows when they'll take that out. Um, I just returned last week from Mexico. Um, stayed at um, a new resort called Margaritaville Island Reserve. I have been there before. Um, I have not stayed. I am now in love with this resort. I just did a video on it. I'm going to post it in a couple of weeks. I did it on my iPhone. I held the phone the wrong way. I didn't intend to do a video while I was there. If you have a smaller group, talk to me, talk to your planner. This is a great resort. I had so much fun. It only has 128 rooms. But talk about deals. It's part of Charisma, so they're giving their pre free private event promotion. So if you have 25 or 30 rooms or guests, you can pretty much get your wedding for almost free in terms of reception, ceremony, and welcome cocktail party. Again, it's Margaritaville Island Reserve 
in Riviera, Cancun. I have a short video coming up in a couple of weeks on that. I'm going to go back down there and stay and actually bring my camera and do it. But great resort, had a lot of fun. Now, let's look at some other news that's happening. Also in Riviera, Cancun, Hyatt Ziva has opened a brand new resort. So you may know the Hyatt Ziva Cancun, which is one of my favorite resorts. They've now opened up a resort, Hyatt Ziva Riviera Maya, Riviera Cancun. So it's south of the airport in the Riviera Maya. I have not been there yet, but everything we see looks good. The only thing I will caution you is um, the rates tend to be on the higher side and the wedding packages with all the Hyatt Ziva resorts tend to be a little bit more expensive than other similar resorts. But it looks like a fabulous, fabulous resort. Now some people have been dreaming about having a wedding on a cruise ship and with COVID people have put that on hold. Um, in the past week I've received two notifications from cruise lines that they are trying to solicit more wedding business. Um, so I think if you're planning a wedding for later in 22 and into 23, cruises are a good option. Uh, I am a big cruise fan. Personally, I'm not a big cruise destination wedding fan. There's a lot of limitations that they put on you. But if you have a smaller group and you want to get it married at sea, it's a great idea. Um, but just know that there are definitely things you can and you can't do when you have your wedding on a cruise ship. Other than that, we're seeing honeymoon trends. A lot of people are looking at Tahiti right now for 22 and 23. That seems to be the hot place. Um, we've done other things such as Dubai and Europe is hot. Greece is hot. So as you start planning for 22, um, prices are out now for summer of 22 for your honeymoons in spring and fall. So those are some really cool trends that are happening with honeymoons. Um, I did a honeymoon video. It's going to come out shortly. But one of the other cool things we're seeing is Iceland is a really neat place for people to go. I've been there a couple times. If you really are into ecotourism, hiking, and adventure, it's definitely cool. It is not a place you're going to lay on the beach. Okay, so hopefully these tips and this news has been helpful. I'll be posting a, a video like this pretty much every month, as well as my normal videos. If you have any things you're interested in or want videos about, feel free to leave a comment or feel free to email. And hopefully this is helpful. Take care.